All right, Libra, how you doing? It's Dharma here to do a weekly for you. This is going to be for about seven days from whenever you watch this, not from when it was uploaded. Uh, don't forget to join us on Facebook on the Raven's Nest where the whole group gets together and chats. Um, Instagram is dharmajane.8. And don't forget that we are doing a collective tarot card or a tarot deck, rather. Um, so you can submit your drawings to dharmajane8 at gmail.com or you can get on the Raven's Nest and put something in there. Okay. Guides, angels, anyone from the highest go with a message to come forward for Libra for the week, please. Libra and Libra cross watchers, what do we have here? Okay, so I feel like somebody has an opportunity right in front of them, but they it's like two opportunities, okay? And so on the one, I want to be like, wait for it because there's some kind of inner knowing here that if they didn't wait for it, they could maybe potentially ruin their manifestation. Eight of Wands. Everything is happening so fast. We are, wow. We are wildly aware now of who the love is. There's something that happens like right away or over the weekend or whatever with an emperor, maybe from your past but it could be past lives. They could also just be nostalgic. Okay, like when you get together with them, you immediately know, like you just vibe. They're vibey, okay? <clears throat> but there's something here that we, there's something here, this is an important message. This is like something that we wanna hold off on because it could ruin this. It really does feel like that. Like you have to make a judgment call. Mm. A judgment call to what is this the tower it's I there's something that is up to you okay you can go this way or you can go that way either way the tornado's coming but it's there's a storm brewing and you have the strength to you have it you have the strength to get through this all right you are winning in whichever facet you win that's what i was saying you got your manifestation it's happening there it is but there's something else that comes back that could really that could destroy it all seven of swords style look at that i think it's a tempting offer to it might be a booty call or a hookup or whatever but it comes with the coffin and I think everybody knows that, and, and everybody involved knows that, that if we are to act on that, then you lose what you started. Wow, beware, beware, beware. Don't do it. Hangman, I mean, can, cause look, they are reaching out to you. They might be drunk when they when they do, or had an extra drink, or might invite you for drinks, or whatever, there's overindulgence in one way or another. But they, this has been developing for a while, and, but they haven't been, they've been on a stalemate too. They haven't been speaking to you. And I feel like you moved on. Over here, what is this emperor? He's there, your soulmate. You moved on with them. And then now in walk, the they're like, well, I'm magnetized to you. I am, I am, I am. <clears throat> See, this, there, something is coming in right now that has changed everything. And I, I feel like it has to do with this and it's a gift. And then I just want to be like, you're getting one final test. What's this letter about? I think that somebody was like not wanting to be near you or be around you because like you had kids or because you wanted kids or something like that. And then now they change their mind and it's, you're also thriving. You know, you're very, very, you're in a place of like, yay. And that is magnetic. It can be felt. 
And it's probably also what we've been talking about before in that when you finally do let go of somebody, they can feel it. But this is spirit screaming, don't. You're going to lose this. Look at how beautiful this is. Okay. Emperor, Six of Cups. I mean, this is the truth. You know that they love you. It's all happening fast. They're going to be the head of the pack. It's your, but you have to, I don't know. This, it almost feels like this is sabotage. It could be a Pisces. But this, there are good things and bad things about this other person. And they're coming back like, can we just talk? Can we just be friends? Can we, are we allowed to still whatever? And you're like, I don't, I don't know. I think that this lighthouse is important. I think it's relevant. I think that there are, I feel like the weekend is important. Okay. It's like they want to hang out and they want to hang out till dawn. But there is just something about it that and the love. I just want to be like, don't fucking do it. Don't do it because it, it's like it is fun. It does feel fun. It feels like fun is what they want to do, except this one wants to love the shit out of you, right? They want to, they want to love you. And there's this other one who just wants to, I don't know, play with you or whatever. They, what, what, what are the intentions of this one over here? Because I, I'm concerned why spirit is screaming don't. And I just want to be like, it's going to, because it's going to ruin it. Yeah, look at that. They could also see that you've moved on over here because they took too long, right? And now they're like, oh, damn. I've lost my Libra. And I really, really, really want my Libra. Oh, no. They are messed up right now that you didn't pick them. But I also heard that there was nothing to pick. It's like this person didn't give any kind of inclination that it was ever going to be anything more than fun. They never, ever once said that this was... There's a reason why we moved on, right? There's a reason why it... Because they're fucking... I don't know, a shyster... There's just something about them that you don't trust. What is it about this emperor that makes them the soulmate? Yeah, because they are actually taking, oh my God. They're actually taking action. They are, they're not just filling your head full of shit. They're like, okay, let's do this. I want to be with you. You can tell. And I mean, they might, you might get a random text that really starts to confuse you because it's an Ace of Rods test text and there's, a, and they see, there it is again <clears throat> with the tower. And so now you've got someone standing next to you. That's a quote soulmate. And you're like, well, Fuck, the, it's the one that I wanted, but you've already done, got higher fonted. It's the King of Swords, who's been a hermit. But if you were to engage in this, you would lose the Emperor. And so it's like the spirits coming out being like, don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth your time. Don't do it. And part of me also wonders if, like, even why did they, the tower, I think they see you with this emperor. Where do they see them? Justice.
where do they see you with this emperor? They might even hear you fighting with them or something. Ten of Cups. They just suddenly realize that there's competition. And they weren't expecting that. And so now, like in a hurry, they're going to try to come back and make things right. And I just kind of feel like it's too late. It's too late, baby. No, it's too late. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're like, see, you've been the hermit. Sorry, pal. I'm sorry. I found my happiness elsewhere. And I took it and I bound myself to it. So better luck next time. I mean, what is it that you fucking want from me? I have a, I have a new Ace of Pentacles. And they are messed up over it. They, they feel like you would betray them. But it's too late. All right. So um, I want to talk more about what this letter is and what this one's actions are. And I also want to see what you're going to go and do with this one. Because this one here, you're already... You're in it with them and you're moving quickly, okay? So the link for the extended is in the box below. It'll take you over to Vimeo. Don't forget to check us out on the Raven's Nest where we all hang out together. That's on Facebook. Link for that's in the box below. Instagram is darmajane.8. I'm not private, currently doing private readings. And um, don't forget to turn in your submissions for cards if you want to be involved in the deck. Until next time.